So I'm here uh, at a designated desert location with Anthony Curry, who is the general manager for the UAE for Joby Aviation. And the reason why I'm here is because they are about to do one of the first test flights for their eVTOL, which is the machine that you can see behind us. Um, but Anthony's very kindly agreed to do an interview so that we can find out a little bit more about what these test flights mean for Joby and what they mean for the wider UAE. Um, so Anthony, thank you so much for joining me, first and foremost. Thank you for having us. It's an absolute pleasure. Okay, so tell me why these test flights are such a big deal. Well, I want to say this is a major milestone for the aviation industry, but more importantly for Dubai's vision to bring aerial taxis to our cities. Today is a culmination of years of hard work between the US and the UAE, and this couldn't have been done without our partners, the RTA, the GCA, and the wider Dubai government. What we've been doing here is really demonstrating the aircraft's capabilities in this different environment. It's harsh, it's hot, it's humid, it's sandy, and we want to make sure that the aircraft performs well. And we're extremely happy and excited to say that it's doing tremendous well here in this environment and we're flying daily, uh, piloted, inhabited. Okay, so it's a big step. What will be the next stage for this aircraft? Realistically, could we see them in the, the skies above Dubai within a few months? I wouldn't say a few months. We will continue uh, flying in Dubai. Uh, we have a couple of other milestones we would like to hit this year. But what's more exciting is to have them fly commercially in Dubai in 2026. Okay, so they're going to fly commercially in 2026. Um, what will those flights look like? How many passengers can they take? Where will you be traveling to and from? Yeah, so let's let's talk about the aircraft a little bit. As you said, this is an EV tall, so it's electric by nature. It's vertical takeoff, so it takes off vertically. It transitions onto the wing, so it becomes like a fixed wing aircraft, like a plane, and then comes back and land vertically. So it's able to really maneuver across the city very easily. It fits four passengers and a pilot. It uh, has a range of 160 kilometers and a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Okay, and so where will the first flights be going from and to? So we've announced four initial locations. The first one is Dubai International Airport. After that, Palm Jumeirah, Dubai Marina, and downtown Dubai. The first vertiport, which is the DXV vertiport, has started construction. It was announced with His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Hamad bin Nasser Maktoub in November 2024, and it's well underway for completion in Q1 2026. Okay, so we can see the craft behind us has got a lot of propellers. How does it actually work? You mentioned there that it's battery powered. It is battery powered. It has six propellers. Each propeller has a dual inverter. Each inverter has a different battery pack. All of that has been created to create several redundancies uh, across the aircraft to build safety. Uh, we believe the aircraft is extremely safe. The redundancies are not only by design, but they've also been tested. A couple of months ago, what we've done is we've tested this aircraft flying. We've cut off an engine, we stopped an engine, we stopped a battery, uh, and we stopped one of the actuators. And all of that, the aircraft was still able to fly safely and land safely. Safety is obviously going to be one of the biggest preoccupations for people, not just those who choose to go in this aircraft, but for the people who will be underneath it. Correct. How safe is it? We believe it's extremely safe. Uh, as any novel technology, definitely consumers might take time to get used to it, but we've been working tremendously long with the FAA, the GCAA, with our own teams to create, again, these safety features, these redundancy features. And you, you can see, you'll see later today, it is extremely safe. It's very easy to maneuver, uh, and it's been doing tremendously well, again, in this environment. So you're testing it here in the UAE, but this isn't the first time the, the aircraft has been tested, has it? You've been right. doing work in the United so States. So we have been flying this aircraft, I want to say consistently since 2017. Um, now this is the first international inhabited piloted flight. So this is a major milestone for us and for the UAE. We're extremely proud to have the UAE as the test bed for these piloted flights. So you can see that the uh, the doors of the aircraft shed are now being opened, um, and that is because the aircraft is lit quite literally about to to take off for its made well one of its test flights. It's been doing a few, but it's going to be taking off in about uh, ten minutes time from here. So you can see that it's going to start moving out. Um, 
let let's see um let's see how we do from sound what's brilliant is that it is it is a very quiet craft and i think we're we're about to have that illustrated for us okay so um am i right in thinking that at, at the at this rate dubai is going to be the first city to have these aircraft buzzing around the skies. Right. Yeah, we plan to have Dubai as the first city for our commercial operations. I want to say there's high likelihood it's going to be the first in the world. So we're very excited to be here today, again, demonstrating with our partners, but more importantly, starting commercial operations in 2026. So realistically, how many of these EV tolls do you expect to be flying around the skies once they do become commercially viable? It's a good question. We're not, uh, for us, we're really thinking more about the service than the number of aircraft. We want to uh, give, you know, citizens and residents of Dubai a service, a specific SLA. We want people to be able to order an aircraft whenever they need to. It can be one aircraft, it can be 20 aircraft, it can be 30 aircraft. The plan is to really have availability across the network. And when you, and when you visualize these flights, where do you expect people primarily be traveling from and to, and how long will that flight take? It's a great question. I think, as we said before, the four initial vertical ports are, you know, Dubai Airport, Palm Jumeirah, Dubai Marina, and downtown Dubai. But more importantly, the service that we're offering is a fully integrated, seamless, multimodal service. What I mean by that is that the Joby application that you will have will be able to order not only the, the aircraft from one of the airport ports to the other, but also a first and last mile. So we'll be integrated with the likes of Ubers and others. And let's say you're going from the airport to your home, you'll be able to order all of that through a Joby app, as simple as putting your final destination. A car will pick you up, take you to the vertical port. An aircraft will pick you from the DXB vertical port to the Palm vertical port. And then a car will be waiting for you to drop you off to your final destination. Okay, so final question, because I know that this preliminary flight is about to, to take place, the test flight, and I don't want to miss that. I want to see it go up in the air. Um, how much are we costing? You describe it as a premium service. How much are you expecting these, these flights to cost? Will we be able to afford them? Because yeah. to be honest, going in a helicopter is pretty unaffordable. I what I want to say is we want to have it as accessible and as affordable as possible. As any novel product, we do expect that it might be a bit more premium early on, but our plan and our ambition is to have it accessible to everyone. Anthony Khoury, thank you very thank much you. indeed. What thank an exciting interview. Uh, I'm going to go outside now and watch that test flight.